this video looks at the best submission in each weight category in men's judo at the 2022 World Masters. We're going to start off with a submission that starts out from the Ushiro Sankaku position, the rear triangle. So the French judoka in blue has isolated the left arm and his opponent's head using the rear triangle. Now he's looking to extend that arm and there's the Jujigatame from the Ushiro Sankaku position. Now we're going to have a look at a very rare choke. It's Waki Jime. I haven't seen this in judo for a few years. So Waki Jime, sometimes known as Kashiwazaki choke after the famous Kashiwazake sensei. Waki Jime literally means armpit choke. So he uses his left hand to apply pressure to the carotid artery while using his armpit on his, of his right side to lever his opponent's head and pressure the head and neck in towards the left hand. And I actually picked two submissions for the 81 kilo class. So I thought Schmidt, Juji Gatame here, the opponent just separated the arm a little from the body and it was enough for Schmidt to move in and catch him with a submission. So Schmidt actually had two Jujigatame wins at this event and then in his third match he got kicked out for using Waki Gatame. The Brazilians did put on a bit of a show with Jujigatame. This is actually my favorite submission for this video. Macedo of Brazil gets the good grips to set up the half guard pass and his opponent ducks under, can't quite establish Osai Komi. He goes back to Juji Gatame and even though the opponent was able to clear the leg from being over the head, he was still able to complete Juji Gatame by locking down the near shoulder with it triangle around it. Now we have Hadaka Jime, basically a rear naked choke if you're an MMA fan. Now it's the biggest men from the tournament, the over 100 kilo class. Rakimov with the Okuri Eri Jime. So Rakimov ended up finishing this tournament with a silver medal. Let me know in the comments which of the submissions in this video is your favorite. Now the 60 kilo class, some might say this was Osai Komi, some might say submission. So he's got interesting grips for the Sankaku turnover, just back of the collar and belt and switching to a hip grip after getting the turn and rather than using the standard Sankaku Gatame with flex legs he's using straight legs and I've found that that can be quite an effective way to choke people. You can decide for yourself whether you think it was Osai Komi or choke. And the final one for this video 73 kilo class is another Juji Gatame. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll probably have a short video out in the next few days. Subscribe for more non-stop Noaza.